Oh, of course. It's never easy, is it? Never easy. No, Dr. Celsius. For the moment, let's leave Murray out of this. But he's been in contact with Fly. Eh? Without the brain, Fly can't reanimate Big Albert. Say what? And neither can you. Wait, what? You find that body, Doctor. Oh! Or you will never see the brain again. But... Dr. Celsius, you may go now. Sit down, Miss Alea. Dinner will be served shortly. Wait. I already had a bite. <laughs> <laughs> in the meantime, make yourself at home. And sit like a lady. People don't kidnap me in my home. Oh, you're not kidnapped, my dear. Yes, yes, yes. Extremely kidnapped. No, let's not argue. Within an hour, you'll see things exactly as I do. Until then, I... I'll start by getting rid of you, sir. Then, I'll rescue Big Albert's brain. And then I'll get out of here. So... Without saying goodbye. Liz, as always, was sincere and direct. She really is a sweetheart. She would put Fitz Randolph out of commission, steal Big Albert's brain, and escape from the Zeppelin without saying goodbye. Oh, you are... are disconcerting. I've always <laughs> said so. But allow me to remind you that my skin is as thick as an alligator's. No, oh, I can't bite you or knock you over the head. I'm sorry to disappoint you. Oh, don't worry. I'll figure something else out. All right. First of all, can I ask what the hell happened to the mouth animation? It was so smooth. Now all of a sudden they just kind of gave up on that. But anyways, beside that, within an hour, what will happen? Within an hour, what will happen? Excuse me? Dr. Zelsius, the pain will pass within an hour. William A. Fitzrandolph, within an hour, you'll see things exactly as I do. I don't know what you're talking about. Me neither, but I'll find out. All right. What do you want from me? What do you want from me? You always seem to know what I'm about to say. And now, can't you guess? Um, to give me a refrigerator with a capacity for 978 blocks. For me to be your biography? B biographer? Eh. <laughs> for me to... I could care less. No, that just isn't Liz. To get to know me better. To get to know me better. I'm trying to do that, but that's not my main reason. To give me a refrigerator with the capacity of 900, 178 blo or 978 books. To give me a refrigerator with a capacity for 978 books? Uh, nothing is farther from my mind, but Liar! Me. Lies? To kill me. To kill me? No, never. I hold you in great esteem. For me to interview you? For me to interview you. Well, for that, I'd only have to call your newspaper. All right, you know what? You're making this way too complicated. For me to be your biographer. For me to be your biographer. Disconcerting. <laughs> Interested? I'll pay you well. You'll get to hobnob with the creme de la creme and, uh... No, you don't want me to do this. Because you don't want to look like a pig in your own biography. <laughs> of course not. In that case, forget it. I never lie. Well... Within an hour, you won't have to lie. I could care less what you want from me. I really... I'm really concerned about what his plans are. You, your things, your ego, let's talk. You, your things, your ego, let's talk. Porch behind me, is that you all pretty dope? What are you reading? Are you guys partners? Dr. Cheeky, Zelsius, yuck, are you partners? He works for me. I needed a scientist for certain aspects of MKO's new direction, and he was the best suited for the job. He's repulsive. I repeat, yuck. <laughs> I don't like him either, but I still can't do without him. All in good time. I love the look on her face the whole time she's asking all these questions. She's so repulsed. Look at her. Uh, we'll get right to the point. What's going on? Let's get right to the point. What's going on with Big Albert? Be specific. But don't get your hopes up. Within an hour, I won't tell you anything. Disconcerting. Uh, what are you planning? What are you planning to do with Big Albert's brain? Don't worry about him. When we find his body and reanimate him, Big Albert will be better than ever. And bigger, if you know what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm saying, but still. Shh. Does Big Albert have anything to do with MKO's new direction? 
Any monster worth his salt has something to do with the new direction. And now, you as well. Oh, Jesus. What is Liz gonna turn into? She's a cute girl, we can't change her. I have a lot of them left. What does Dan Murray have to do with all this? What does Dan Murray have to do with all this? Very little, I hope. He's a good man and it wouldn't be fair to make him suffer. Wait, what about Liz? That's messed up. What is MKO's new direction? What is MKO's new direction? We're dropping horror flicks. From now on, family pictures, children's films, romantic comedies, musicals. There's something else. What is it? Patience, miss. Tomorrow, you'll find out. You and everyone else. <sighs> what was Big Albert looking for in your office? What was Big Albert looking for in your office? I'll tell you what he found. Problems. No shit. You have said. What's for dinner? What's for dinner? I don't know, but if you want something special, tell me, and I'll tell the chef to prepare it. Well, I mean, if you're gonna wine and dine me, then why not? Check out Liz this nice little black tie she got going on. Let's look around. My plan is clear. First, I get Fitz Randolph out of the way, then I get the brain from the safe. I like uh, to do things in order. Of course, of course. Good plan. There's nothing here that particularly interests me. Yeah, right. Looked at random etiquette, diplomacy, and other foolishness for becoming someone by Sir Anthony Grant. All right, well, let's look outside the balcony. Let's see what's going on here. She walks very well in heels. Good for her. That's always a plus. Nothing really out here. Do I have anything in my inventory? Except for a glove. Slap the fucking dining room. All right, well, that's not going to work, so... Look at a painting. I have enough paintings at home. Almost all by Queenie, my pretty sister. Fucking okay, Queenie. All right, uh, fireplace. I'm not gonna light it. It's probably fake, like the roses at the party. Mm, I'm more of a refrigerator person. I don't really think that there's an argument between one and the other, but hey, you know what? Whatever. And Take that. we strongly discourage stealing furniture from a room when the owner is in sight. From Perry Hickok and Richard Smith, How to Steal Without Complicating Your Life. Page 131, paragraph 5. Look, you can't just always follow what every single freaking painting tells you, or reading. Same thing. No, I didn't come here to steal a painting, but rather a brain. Uh, whatever. Let's just get out of here then. On into the adjoining room. Alright, what do we got in here? Oh, hey there, Mr. Chef Robot. Let's see. Sculpture. He's a nice body, but I'm a lady. No touching. Oh, come on now. It's alright. You won't mind. I don't recognize it. And the label on top looks like the scrawl of someone in a hurry. Looks like the scrawl of someone in a hurry. Hey, good to know. Twice. Oh. Oh. Come on, Liz. Yeah. The little knife is the most harmless. This is like medium size, it looks like. Hey, who am I to judge? Hey, Mr. Robot. What you cooking? Hey, yo, Adrian. How do you know their names? This is concerning. Yeah, uh, how do you know my name? I don't know. Is your name Adrian? Yes. Well, good. Yeah. No need for introductions then. But I still don't know your name. I'm Liz. If you guess, I'll give you a kiss. Yeah. I wouldn't be able to guess it in a million years. Ah, oh, the kisses I still have yet to give. Your name's Liz, right? Yeah? Oh, let's plant one here. No, I'm just kidding. What are you making? Buns? Deconstruction art. Molecular cooking. They look like buns. They look like buns. They are breaded cacao sponges with an alginic acid with fresh fennel extract. How nice, they look like buns. Oh, how nice, they look like buns. The bubbling texturization of the content is enhanced by the subtle roundness that it gets from the mold. What do you think? They look like buns. Mm, they look like buns to me. With the syringe, I imbue the mixture with fresh fennel extract, which explodes in pearls upon contact with the palate. All right. Hey, but you're not too bad yourself, you know? I like you. Because of the hat. I like you. Know why? Because of the hat. Oh, I'm wearing it because I'm the chef of the Zeppelin. I like it. It's ridiculous. It looks terrible on you, but it makes me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. She's like the worst version of Honest Abe ever. This is what she bred, Abraham Lincoln. An insulting frickin' truth teller. <sighs> what am I saying? Anyways, if you are the chef, why are you in the If you're the chef, 
Why are you in the hallway? Because I don't get along with the rest of the kitchen staff. They don't enjoy gastronomic arts, and they don't consider themselves to be artists and put their soul into what they do. They are dehumanizing the kitchen. Obviously, because a robot making buns is not dehumanizing the kitchen. Ah, bio and interests. Adrian the chef. Brief bio and interests. I'm the chef. I like cooking. Love it, cooking. I make up recipes. Anything that doesn't have anything to do with cooking? Variety is the spice of life. Thanks. He likes cooking. No, nothing. Well, I am afraid of the cold. The cold? The cold. Of the cold. Of the cold. Mm. Of the cold, said Liz. And at that very instant, she decided to help Adrian overcome his terrible phobia. And how? And how? <laughs> I'm a lousy cook. Can you give me a simple recipe? Of course. What do you want to learn how to cook? I don't know. Fucking... Ooh. I'm becoming something of a cow. <laughs> All right. Something sweet. Something sweet. Very sweet. Need the diabetes. Of sugus and syrup rolled in crushed pop rocks. Huh? Uh -huh. Glazed with pulverized M&Ms and served on a bed of stewed Twizzlers. Only with a doctor's prescription. <laughs> I would eat that shit up. Something from the sea. Sea urchin spikes and parchment. Very light. Mmm. I'm becoming something of a cow. I'm becoming something of a cow. Something that will help me lose weight. Extract of lettuce, denatured with centrifuge cucumber foam, and a touch of vaporized H2O. It also works to inflate balloons. Nothing. Aya. Aya. Uh so that was okay. So now we're just gonna help him learn to not be cold and not to be scared of the cold. Great. If I grab it, I would be taking it for granted that I'm planning on falling. <laughs> and although tripping over things is fun, I'm not in the mood for that today. You don't get to choose, sweetheart. Um, okay, you're thought, taking it anyway. I don't feel like being coherent. <laughs> I like the way she thinks. Ooh, a spiral staircase. Where does this lead? Let's find out. Uh, no, it's cold. My uh, chest is very exposed. I'm not going any further. And are, are you kind of missing the part where there's a frozen skier in the freezer? This isn't supposed to happen. 